Bob here and today we're going to take a look at what I used to build my first computer with. I've messed and monkeyed with computers since the mid 80s and uh, this is the first one I've ever built. I had a $1,200 budget and uh, these are the parts that I decided that would work. For the motherboard, we're using an ASUS Z97A. It's an Intel chipboard. It's gonna, it can use the i5, the i3, the i7. We're gonna put an i5 in this one. The Z means it's overclockable, and the A, it, it is a bit of an entry-level board. It doesn't have a, some of the other bells and whistles on it, but it does everything I'll need it to do. The user guide. the book that explains all the features about it. We have the install disk. Some SATA cables. The back plate. And an SLI bridge and some Q connectors. This motherboard uses DDR3 memory. It's a dual channel memory. And it has four slots. We're gonna use two of the slots with four gigs each for eight, eight gigs of memory. The board also comes with a built-in sound and graphics processor. We're gonna add another graphics card, so we're not gonna use the one on the board. The CPU that we're gonna be using is gonna be the i5 processor. It's an i5-4690K and the K means it's overclockable. This has four cores in it and it runs at 3.5 gigahertz and you can overclock it to 3.9. It comes with a standard paperwork installation guide and a blurb from McAfee. Also it comes with a stock cooler. We won't be using that though. We're gonna install a custom cooler this, you don't want to use this if you're going to overclock. And here we have the CPU itself, all encased in a nice plastic. To keep the CPU nice and cool, we're going to use the Cooler Master Hyper T4. Now it comes with the regular instruction manuals and paperwork in it and, and a bag of parts. Now depending on the CPU and the motherboard you use will depend on your, your mounting parts for that. The T4 also comes with a 120 millimeter fan on it and that fan can be mounted on either side of the fin so it depends on which way your the air blows through your case you'll want to mount it so that it works with your fans and then at the bottom of the cooler there there's four copper pipes that draw the heat away from it into the radiator for memory we're going to add eight gigs these are two 4k sticks and it's the kingston hyper x furies these ones run at 1,866 megahertz, are the fastest I could get, and they have a latency of 10. This memory comes in different colors also, but I picked the red because it matches the fans on my video card. Next is the power supply. It's from Corsair, a CX750M, and it's a 750 watt power supply. I wanted to be able to make sure I had enough room for upgrading and adding items or maybe even another video card on this. So I think this one will work really well. It's an 80 plus bronze. It has a nice big cooling fan on it that's really quiet. Set up from the back. I have it so it blows 
from the top down. That's your, pow uh, your power in and your on and off switch and on the back are all your connectors, are all modular so they're not hardwired into there. Your, your six and your eight pin, your SATA power cables. Th th of course it comes with your warranty book and your instruction booklets. This power supply comes with a bunch of cables, more than a, more than what I needed. It had the six pin and the eight pin cable, and then a whack of uh, SATA cables. So more than I needed, and also it came with your zip ties. The graphics card we're using is an R9 280. It's got three gigs of VRAM in it, and I've been really, really pleased with it. It's been operating really good. It the software comes makes it really easy to overclock. You can check your temperatures and everything when you're doing it. Make sure everything's running well. Um, if you register right away, it comes with a lifetime warranty. The bang for the buck for this is incredible. This card, when I purchased it, was around $200. For hard drive storage, I decided to go with Western Digital's one terabyte, 7200 RPM drives, the blue editions. The two drives versus a one, two terabyte drive, I thought would give me a little more flexibility and a little backup just in case one does fail or whatever. The optical drive is just an Asus DVD drive. Nothing special about it, but it seems to work well. The case here is an Antec 900 and it has an acrylic side on it so you can see through it in the inside. It has 320 millimeter fans with LED blue LED lights on it and it has a 200 millimeter exhaust fan on the top. Um, it's, it has a few drawbacks. It's not great for cable management and it's not toolless, but now that it's all together, it's good. You could even add an extra fan to the side there, and uh, airflow on this thing is fantastic. And here we are, we're gonna install the CPU, the CPU cooler. 4 gig memory sticks. I've sped the video up a little bit to try to whiz through this. My fingers don't usually work that fast. Well, I hope you've had as much fun watching this video as I had building the computer. It was interesting and I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. If any of you uh, are, you know me and you need some help or you want to do this, just let me know and I'd be glad to help you. So take care, subscribe to the channel. And any comments would be appreciated, likes or dislikes. And you guys have a great day and see you next time.